Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be trying to solve the problem 431A in code forces, that is black square. Okay, so just to summarize this, a phone screen is divided into four strips, all right, and a black square can appear on any one of these strips. Now, depending upon in which uh, strip the black square appears, a certain amount of energy is being wasted. Okay, so you have to just find out the total energy that's being wasted. Okay, now I will explain this in a bit more better way. Let me open up my whiteboard. Okay, so now here, the first line of input shows you the amount of energy being wasted for each strip. Okay, so if the black square appears on the first strip, the amount of energy being wasted is 1. If the black square appears on the second strip, the amount of energy being wasted is 5 and so on. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we have to store all these in different variables. Okay, so I'll just name them from A to D. So A, B, C, oh I'm sorry, it's not 5, I mean it's not Three, it's supposed to be five. Three and two. Okay, so now this basically means that as I mentioned, if the black square appears on the first strip, the energy being wasted is equal to A, which is equal to one. And if it's on the second strip, the amount of uh, energy being wasted is equal to B, that's equal to five. Okay, and so on. Now, the second line of input stands for um, the strips in which the black square appears. Okay, now before we hop onto this, we'll also have a variable called count, which will help us to count the energy being wasted. Okay, now according to the second string, first the black square appears on the first strip. Okay, because it's one. Since it's 1, it means that the black square appears on the first strip. And from here, we know that if it appears on the first strip, the energy being wasted is 1. Okay, so we will just add 1 to count. Then after that, the black square again appears on the first strip. Now again from this, we know that the energy being wasted is 1. So we will again add 1 to count. Then the black square appears on the second strip. From our stored variables, we know that the second, I mean the energy being wasted in the second strip stands for B and the amount of energy being wasted is 5. So we'll just add 5 to count. Okay. Similarly, we'll keep on adding up till the end of the string. And you have to just add all this together and return that as your output. So 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 will be the answer for this. So you have to just return this as your output and that's basically it for this. So now let's see how to code the solution out. Okay, so let's start. First, we'll uh, start by accepting A, B, C and D, which will be the energies being wasted for the different strips. Okay, A, B, C and D. Now just accept all of them. Now, after this, you have to accept the string S, which will be like, you know, the locations where the black square appeared. Now, we'll also keep a variable called count, which will help us to find out the energy that's being lost. Okay. Now, we need a for loop. I less than S dot length and I plus plus. Okay. Now, here, if S of I is equal to 1. Now this basically means that if the black square appeared in the first strip, what should we do? We should add the amount of energy wasted to count. So we can just do count plus equals A because if it appears on the first strip, the amount of energy being wasted is A. Second strip, the amount of energy being wasted is B and so on, right? So I will just copy and paste this and I will just do slight uh, modifications of this so that it's just less work. 
now I'll just change these as well otherwise it won't work here we have to accept B and here we have to accept C and else we can just accept D right now after the for loop now after all of this we have to output the energy waste it so we can just do C out count and end it that's basically it now let's copy the first input and see the answer we get this should be the answer we get uh, 13 let's see and there you go we get the correct answer let's check for the uh, second one as well even for this we should get the same answer there you go we do get the same answer so now we'll just copy this input and submit this go to submit it's taking a bit long for some reason okay and submit let's see let's reload the page there you go it's running and there you go it's accepted so now that's how you solve this if you have any doubts do leave them down in the comment section below and if you have any requests to solve any other question in code forces do mention them as well and that's all for this video and see you next time bye